Hello folks, in this session we will demonstrate how to extend a root partition that is full under a Red Hat Linux server. As you can see I'm logged on as root and the root partition is at 94% used. We need to extend it. How do we do that? Well, we're going to have to, what, what, what I prefer to do is restart with a rescue CD. So we're going to have to restart with a rescue CD and extend that partition. I will demonstrate how to do that here. Um, the volume group that is being used is called VG1. And as you can see, the free PE is maxed out. It's at zero. So we're going to have to extend the volume group VG1 and we're going to have to extend the logical volume called LV root. Right now it's at uh, 6.8 gigs. We're going to have to extend it, I guess, another 6 gigs or so. I have. have two hard drives set up on the server already SDA and SDB SDB is empty so I already inserted a second hard drive which we will use to extend the root partition okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down this virtual box uh, guest and I'm going to go to the settings as soon as it's shut off and I'm going to use a s rescue CD that I really like which is called a system rescue CD you can get it at syscrescd.org let me show you quickly where you can get it if you give me a moment, I'll show you. Basically, there's two system rescue CDs that I like. One is uh, Nopix and System Rescue CD. System System Rescue CD is my favorite. You should try that one. Okay, basically, I'm gonna go into the settings of my virtual box machine, and I'm gonna specify that the CD-ROM is the one that boots. Here I have the system rescue CD ISO mounted. Let's fire it up. Okay, I'm just going to select the defaults. Okay, once it's fully up, you'll get this screen that you see here. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check that it still recognizes the volume group and the logical volumes within the system. Now, this system now is booted with the system rescue CD. There's no, there are no local hard drive partitions mounted. As you can see, everything is running from the CD and in memory. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create uh, I'm going to uh, FDisk the second hard drive I'm going to create a new partition and just give it the entire size and leave it as uh, okay well so we're gonna have to change the uh, we can't leave it as Linux we have to change the uh, the type so we spit we click T with the type partition that will give you all the codes we need to specify 8E which is uh, Linux LVM as you can see here 
Now when we print it, it'll say that the partition SDB1 is a Linux LVM, is a Linux LVM type of type of partition. Let's still write it. Let's write it and exit. Now what we need to do is create a uh, physical volume. So we do that with PV create dev SDB1. There it goes. After that, we need to add this partition to the volume group VG1. You do you do VG extend dev SDB1 to VG1. Notice the free PE size is zero. After we do this, oops. I'm sorry, it's the other way. It's a uh, VG extend VG1. There we go. Now when we do VG display, you'll see that where it says free PE, now there's eight gigs of free physical extends. So we extend the volume group. Now what we need to do is extend the logical volume, uh, which is LV root. If we display the logical volume, you'll see that LV root is 6.8 gigs. But it's actually full. Right now I have it at 94%. Okay, what we can do is uh, to extend it, we do can do a uh, LV extend. And no, wait, before we do this, let's do a VG display. Notice that the free PE says it has 2047 free PEs. So to, ex to extend it to the, to the max of the volume group, we type, I would type v LV extend minus L. 2047 dev vg1 lv root there we go now when we run around lv display you're going to notice that um, Oh, it, it went from 6.8 to 8 gigs. I know why that is. See, we specified for it to go a little bit more. What we need to do is find out how many free PEs there are and then just add it with a plus instead of just with a number. Like this. Actually, it's 1741, so we will do it like this now you'll notice that the volume group has zero free PEs and the root partition has now 14 gigs of, s of logical volume size instead of 6.8 but we're not done yet we need to do an E2FSEK that logical volume we gotta force it and then after we do that we gotta resize it with the command resize to fs you're gonna hear your drive go a little bit wild as you do that now we're gonna test it I'm gonna create a root directory amount in the MNT and I'm going to do mount dev vg1 lv root to root now we check the size you'll see that it has 7.9 gigs free and it's 40% used instead of 94% used let's unmount it oops and now let's uh, restart it should be okay now. Well, I'm going to just close the screen and restart. Give me a moment.
Okay, let's back. Let's get back in there. Let's uh, change the boot order to boot from hard drive. Let's fire it up. This should only take a few minutes, so wouldn't hurt to have the server down for more than 15 minutes to accomplish something like this if you have your notes prepared ahead of time. Notice that uh, you can see as a boot screen goes by, you can see the new size, which is 14.8, the new LV root size. Okay, so let's log in. And now your root partition is 44% used with uh, more than half of the size free. And BG display is twice the size. It went from 8 gigs to almost 16 gigs. And LV display also shows the root partition. It's 14.8 gigs instead of 8 gigs. I think it was not 6.8 gigs. And you're set. Thanks for watching.